Happy Friday. Truck is nice and clean. It rained overnight, so let's hope it dries up. But it's PTI time. Gotta make sure we got enough air in the tires. It's at 110. That's actually pretty good. The back ones. Also at 110. We got a five minute PTI pre trip inspection knocked out with the walk around. And we are headed out. So when you start driving, it's on duty right now. When you start driving, it switches you itself into drive mode. And there it is. We got. What do we got here? No cars over there. Forgot to turn my turn signal on. But we're showing a 1.20 p.m. ETA in Ottawa Lake, Michigan. Wide turns, boys and girls, wide turns. Even when you don't need them. But get into the habit of them. Let's hope there's no traffic in Cincinnati. We're right, right on the border of Kentucky, Cincinnati, Walton, Kentucky. Flying J usually has breakfast items like a breakfast burrito. So there's an egg, a sausage, hash browns, and bacon in here. I don't really like sausage, and that burrito had sausage in it. So I only took two bites of that burrito. Chicken wing, chicken wing. We got a tender, nice and crispy. They are actually not bad from the truck stop. If they're not old, of course. I usually carry a bottle of ketchup with me in the fridge to lube items like this up a little bit. We just caught up to this car hauler and his rack is crooked. It's like lopsided. onto Yankee Road there's a raised railroad so since we're only a couple inches off the ground we gotta press trailer lift and it raises us another four inches we gotta kind of get into the the airbags on the truck they inflate Yep. Did you hear that loud annoying thing? That's the sound you get when you jackknife too much. But these trucks are equipped with that airbag inflation system that raises you four inches on the trailer and on the drives. 
helps you get over a railroad so you don't get stuck and hit by a train. This pickup yard is sketchy because it's on a narrow road and you literally got to get into the opposite lane to turn into there so your trailer doesn't go off the... Whoa, bumpy too. But pretty much that's how close it is. And that's how you set it up. Get all the straps out of the way on the trailer. Connect it here. Slide out the rear bottom rack. Lower the top rack on top of it. Slide out the ramps. And we are set to start loading the car on the nose. scavenger hunt for six cars we're picking up three pickup trucks two chrysler pacificas and a wagoneer of course we gotta inspect them again check very good for damages if there are any damages we mark them on the app of the carrier and write down the codes on the paper and hand them to the security guard on the way out so that our butt is covered once you're in the vehicle you gotta grab this page just anything off the dash for the security guard on the way out from each car As long as you see one hole at least, at least one hole on the side of your wheel, you can drive over it just to be safe. But you follow these holes and then you know you're yay close over there. I could still go a little bit more to my side just to be safe. But these straps are always on the side like this, so they're never in the way. You don't have to get up here and fix them. You can just drive the car on and uh, the straps are ready to put on. But you don't want these pockets out too much. These pockets extend even more. 
for trucks or big wheels so that you can lower your car a little bit more but for a minivan it's pretty low so you don't want them that big you don't want them big that's about the perfect size that is good for a minivan So these four straps are on and ready to be tightened so we're gonna get the second platform ready so we're putting a ram 1500 in here so this is fine because we're not gonna have anything underneath so you can just leave the hooks in the third hole you're gonna put the wheel square in the pocket in the middle and these straps and get them out of the way so that you can put the wheel right here the back wheel goes right there so this platform is ready to put a truck on the straps are out of the way so on your left side you got all single single letters on your right side you got double letters we need kk48 so what we're gonna do is there's no markings on the ground so we gotta count each parking spot up to 48. so it's one two three and you keep going all the way up to 48. gotta inspect this puppy so there's no scratches or dents or scuffs. Check the roof also. put the front straps on you put the back straps on yeah but you get this hook from the bottom so you don't have to crawl under there to get this hook in but that's it four straps on next thing you want to do is pick it up a little and sl slide it back in and then you're gonna lower it once you get it off that ledge you're gonna lower it down to the bottom and then slide it all the way out and set it on top of that rack. But we're not putting a vehicle under there. So we're just gonna slide it all the way in because our next vehicle is going on this platform. Now all we gotta do is load four vehicles on the trailer. We got two on, we're gonna lower the tail, throw that hook in and tighten these two vehicles so we're done so we're gonna be done with the truck gotta try to have these in the middle 
so they don't run over this ledge. And this is gonna tighten the front wheels on the minivan. And then this one is gonna tighten the front wheels on the truck. But it's a quick spin system. it's a truck you want to do it a little bit tighter because it's a heavy vehicle you can move around and loosen the straps you put that hook in not too far under because you don't want to break the strap too much if you're pretty close to the ratchet then On the minivan, you got the front wheel right here, and the back wheel, you tighten from there. So you can tighten it from the ground here. Of course, if you're not short, if you are short, you can lower this rack if you're short. But the front car you want pretty tight for braking situations those two are done tightened we're not putting anything under the sleeper behind the sleeper so we're moving on to the trailer so as you saw before the back straps are ready all we got to do is get these straps out of the way and so that you don't drive your wheels on them once you park well, we're going to be putting a truck here another ram and the back wheel is gonna go around here, right in the middle of these two ramps. So you see how I have the hook in? So I just pass the hook with the wheel and I stop. Our next beast up for inspection. If the straps have these rubber pieces, you wanna have them on top of the wheel. They actually, if the strap gets loose, they actually prevent the strap from falling off right away. Got another ram going on the tail. We're gonna drive the front wheels past this because we're doing a V. We're doing a V on the top once we get two cars, one on the under that one, one under this one. We're gonna do a V-shape deal here. So you wanna pull it forward as much as possible so that it's going down. Because if you leave it on the back here, once that V goes up, your height is higher here. So you wanna get it lower. Our final ram up for inspection. You wanna really do your inspections really good. Check a couple times so that you don't get a claim later. Get on the tire, check the roof out. It's nice that it's a white truck. You can actually see if there's anything that you won't miss. I had to put two hats on because I guess my first one was a little bit too thin because it's so windy out here and it's cold. It's like 28 degrees, but I just slapped another one on. But these guys almost done loading. Got some nice peats. And of course, the nicest one on pavement. Cause she's a pavement princess.
so the strap goes on around the wheel and you don't need to use this hook because you need about this much space to make that V so it's gonna get a lot closer on the back wheel it's the same thing you don't need to use the middle hook just tighten it down like that and you're ready to go All six wheels strapped and tightened. Time to raise this whole upper deck up so we can slap another vehicle there and another vehicle there. So we're putting a Wagoneer in here jeep wagoneer grand wagoneer and these straps are pretty much set up for wide long wheelbase so i don't have to do anything with them just like that and then the back wheel of this Pacifica, it's a Chrysler Pacifica going on here, is going to go right here. This one sits on the trailer right at the front. So you have enough room for jackknifing. Since this is an 80 footer, it's really fun. Well, let's get these straps on there and slap that last one on and we're good to go. We got all six straps on. That one's easy. The bottom straps are usually pretty simple and easy. We're not using this position, so you wanna just put the straps away neatly for this position. Got the straps on on this one, pretty simple also. You slide the ramps in, then you... I haven't tightened anything, but usually this vehicle can go down a little more. So you adjust the lock pins over here you can lower it or put it higher we're gonna lower this vehicle like that and we don't need to lower this side it can just stay up like that but then this vehicle is gonna lower a little bit so this clearance is perfect we have have the lock pins set at about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes up. So this is the V that I was talking about. We're probably at like 13, 9, 13, 10 there. And that one should be lower. But we're about to lock it down, tie the bottom cars down and set the pins. And we should be measuring height here in a little bit. You wanna have at least 
four or five inches clearance. So you just, once, that, once it's lower, that's when you just set the pins like that and you count the holes. Sometimes there's one in here, a little one. So you just set it right on top of it and then you remember that hole there. And then this one is set already. This one's all the way down. And then here, you got about four or five inches clearance or more. Well, you're gonna also do the same. You look for these little holes and you count from them. So we're about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes over here. So seven here and right on top of the little one there. So this side is a little bit closer. So you gotta be careful not to hit the stick. On the car. And then that wheel goes all the way up to here. You wanna do it pretty tight on the tail here. Tail always bounces around more. This pickup is complete. The Pacifica is at its normal length. That's about normal. We're, we're at about 13, 10, 13, 11 here. About 13, 8, 13, 9 here. That one is at about 13, 8, 9 also, 10. And the nose is the highest, it's about at 14. We can lower it one more hole but there's no need to. We've gone 14 to Florida many times. But well, that's it. That's how you do it. Once you're done loading and have all six or how many vehicles you have the, of these pages, you write down the last eight of the VIN. On this page, fill your info out. That's how this yard works. And you scan all these VIN numbers into your carrier app and mark it picked up. But that's it, boys and girls. That's how you load up six cars onto a nine car Peterbilt car hauler. You hand all that paperwork to the security guard on your way out and you get your butt home because it's Friday night and you've had a five day week time to go home. I still got a almost five hour drive home back to Lexington, Kentucky. Let's hit the weekend off.